Good morning, YouTube fam. What an absolutely gorgeous morning here at the South Carolina coast. Welcome back to another high adventure video. We are up and at them early this morning because the tide is low. It is 6.30 in the morning. We just had daylight savings time, which really I'm, I'm not a fan of at all. For the next two days, we are going to be eating only what we can catch out of this inlet that you see behind me and we can also fish the beach as well. So for my final meal before this challenge, I have Prairie City chocolate donut holes and a Natural Valley maple sugar crunch bar. I kind of sacrificed uh, having a big, nice hearty meal for my final meal for getting out here early because uh, I'm going to have to fight all of the uh, retired folks off because they'll descend upon this place like something out of Mad Max Fury Road in their mini golf carts and all their fishing gear. So I decided, you know what? We're not gonna waste any time. Low tide's at like 7.30. It's currently like 6.25. We gotta get out here, get a spot before this place becomes an absolute zoo. No, is this gonna have to be chocolate donut holes from the gas station, little hot coffee, and just the protein will come from the Nature Valley sugar bar. No lie, that gas station donut hole, actually that's not bad. I was, I was bracing myself for quite a stale little donut, but that tastes pretty good. Let me show y'all the bait we have for today. We've got the frozen mullet, I've got some frozen shrimp caught in the cast net here a couple weeks back. And then I went out last night, caught myself a bunch of mud minnows. In fact, let me send you back to my past self, show you how we caught these really quickly. What's going on, future Micah? I have with me this nice minnow trap that some of y'all have seen me use in the past. And what we have in here, two hot dogs. <laughs> Can't even handle these things without laughing. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these hot dogs and we're gonna scrunch them up like that. Ugh. Just drop them right in our minnow trap, like so. There we go. And there you have a fine looking mud minnow trap. That we're just gonna take here, make sure we find a deep part because it is high tide right now, tide's going out. So we wanna make sure it's not gonna be high and dry here in about three hours. It's pretty deep right down here. Oh, I just lost the string. That wasn't good. That's good and tight on there. We're gonna come back in about an hour. It should not take long to catch mud minnows. It'll probably be dark by then, but we're doing this for you future, Micah. We'll catch you guys here in an hour. Ooh. All right, been about an hour and a half. Let's go check the trap. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> We got some chunky mud minnows in there. Look at those guys in there. See that? Oh man, we got some big ones, dudes. We got some real big ones in there. Good grief. This is awesome. Now, Micah, future Micah, it's up to you to make something out of this. We're trying to survive, all right? So I'm counting on you. Plus I'm freezing my caboose out here to check this at night. So don't let me down, man. So that's how we caught those. Unfortunately, last night, um, a raccoon actually got into my bucket and he destroyed, I, I mean, guys, I had big mud minnows. I had some of the biggest mud minnows I had ever seen, but he ate the big mud minnows. Fortunately, they didn't get to all of them, but I don't think I've ever had that problem before, raccoons getting into my mud minnows. So I'll definitely have to remember that for tonight when we go out and get some more. Make sure to cover up the bucket or put it in the truck or something, because that was really unfortunate. But we still have plenty in there. I mean, we still got some fairly quality sized ones. Definitely big enough to where we can make it work if there are fish here. Speaking of fish, we better get started. Let's get on this challenge because uh, I've got a feeling it might be a little bit difficult talking to a couple people when I rolled in yesterday. The fishing hasn't been that good, which seems to be the theme recently when I do these challenges. I need to pick better times when the fish are real biting. All right, we're gonna start with a little popping cork this morning. I've actually never thrown these, but man, I've seen so many people just absolutely smash and fish on them that I figured it's time for me to start doing this. Let's grab us a little mud minnow here. Actually, let's see if we can get a nice sized one. Get a big old boy. 
There we go. To the bottom of the lip, right through the top. I've got that set at probably about two and a half feet. Let's turn this guy off. Now you guys could hear, can you hear that rattle on that? On that bobber? So there are a couple ways you could fish this. You could just, you could just fish it with the little mud minnow swimming around or whatever bait. But what a lot of people will do is they'll pop it, literally. And I just got snagged on the first one. There we go. Tide's going out. But what that does is that clacking noise gets the fish's attention, if I'm not mistaken. That's the whole idea. And then you've got that mud minnow trailing behind it. So the fish gets their attention, then they hear the mud minnow, and then you get snagged on some debris. <laughs> Not the ideal first cast. What we might do for this first cast, actually. Is he pretty lively? Yeah, those mud minnows are pretty lively. They're pretty hardy. What we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna just throw this out close to those rocks over there. And we're gonna let this float down. See if anything hits it. Just just him swimming around. <sighs> right up there. You know, we have an opportunity to get all kinds of fish in this inlet. You have uh, flounder. Obviously, you've got redfish, speckled trout. Oh, there's a bite right there. Right there. Oh, at a baby. Oh my gosh. Woo! This is a good fish. This is a good fish. That's what you want. Tighten this drag up a little bit. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. Early morning wake up. Let's pay off, baby. What do we got? First fish on a popping cork. What do we got? I think it's a trout. Yeah, it's a big old trout. Big old trout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Dude, that's a fat, fat saltwater trout right there. Oh, baby, let's go. Oh, that hook's still barely in there. Look at that. Oh, oh, the hook just popped out. Hook just popped out. We gotta go measure it up. They've gotta be 15 inches. Oh, I'll bet that's 15. Oh, please, may it be 15. Yeah, come on. Dudes, dudes, 17 and a half. Let's go. Bam. That's a really nice fish to start the morning. I'm still yet to catch like a real jumbo. I know guys will get like, you know, 24, 26, 28 inch trout. I mean, I can't believe that. That'd be huge. But our early morning wake up paid off with our first bit of fish to start this challenge. And our first fish on the puffin cork. That feels so good. Let's get back out there. There's no time to waste. Oh. There you go. Fresh mud minnow back on. Oh man, I got the blood pumping fast this morning. Here we go. Back out in there, let's see if they've got some trout schooled up. I tell you what, no matter how old I get, I don't think I'll never not get excited like a little kid watching a bobber go under. There's just, there's something just so satisfying. Oh, dude, I missed it. So satisfying about it. Good grief. Dude, MC hammered that thing. Boy, if I wasn't awake earlier, I am now. Let's get a big fatty. Go. We got a big tubbers on right here. Oh, I see my first fisherman coming. Not even in a golf cart. That man straight up walked down here. Wow, that's dedication. I know about that. That's how we started doing this thing. Over mile walk to this inlet. There's a bite. Got him. No, shoot, missed him. There he is, right there, right there. Took it. Just took it. Oh, we got doubles. Good fish. Another yeah. nice trout. There she is. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that beautiful fish. That's another 15 plus inch. That might be close to 17 again. Oh, man. Just smoked that mud minnow again. Let's go measure her up. That gentleman over there, he caught one on a, looked like a voodoo shrimp, like throwing a soft plastic so we might want to think about that as well but that's two on the mud minnow be good to be maybe be 15. oh yeah dude that's 16. look at that 16 yep right at 16 inch trout that's a keeper that's a keeper get that hook out there we go beautiful look at that that's two guys that's two oh, let's go let's keep it going 
keep the momentum going. There he is. Got him. I was adjusting my GoPro and all of a sudden my bobber just went boom. Solid fish. Solid fish. I think that's a keeper right there. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Yeah, there we go. That's a little longer, a little girthier. Look how beautiful that fish is. Beautiful spots on it. Ooh, hook right in the corner of the mouth. That's one of those fish you don't even have to measure up. You just know it's big enough. What is the size on trout? Is it 14 or 15? 14. Four, oh man, I've been doing 15. That's okay. I'd rather a little bigger, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. All right. I've got like the biggest mud minnow. I think I probably had left over from losing all mine last night. There he is. There he is. And we made it pay off. Don't know how big he is, but we made it pay off. We've got the biggest, chunkiest one I could get. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. That's a nice trout. Who, you know, is it though? That's yeah, kind of small. I think we're gonna let this guy go. The fish are biting. We've got three already. I'm feeling confident. We're gonna, this guy's probably 14, but we're gonna roll the dice a little bit. All right, we still got our tubby mud minnow on. The big one, we'll call him. Come on, buddy. There he is. Got him. Oh my gosh, dude. He absolutely, that bobber, he just, he destroyed that mud minnow. Good Charlotte. Yeah, that's a solid trout. That's a good solid trout. That's a, that's a thick one. Yep. That's a good keeper. That's a good keeper. Yes. Mud minnow on a popping cork, y'all. People are getting them on little swim baits. In fact, we might try that here in a minute just for fun, but right now we're getting quality trout on this popping cork and the little mud minnow. Can we do the un impossible and go three, three for three, same minnow? If there's any kind of live bait you could do it with, it'd be a minnow, be a mud minnow. Here we go, let's go drop him in the cooler really quickly. Here we go. Pressing this little fat mud minnow into surface one last time. <laughs> kind of starting to feel a little guilty about it. Nah, I've started to slow my retrieve down a little bit. I'm letting that minnow swim around a little bit more. Give it a pop and then I'm giving it about 15, like there, 10, 15 seconds between each pop. Dudes, this is three for three if we get this fish in on the same minnow. That dude went above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> Ooh, look at that trout. Might be a little small. I mean, he probably is technically, but I'm kind of being selective right now while the bite's good. We got four where I've got a good start to our eat only what we catch. <laughs> Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Get out of here. Dare I ask this mud minnow one last time to get another one. What are we at? Four? I have to hook him through the eyeball. The dude is still as lively as ever. And we've caught three on him. We're going for four. Have we asked too much of this one mud minnow? Nope. <laughs> nope. No, we haven't. All right. Oh, there he goes. Oh, dude, he's still on there. He is still on there. He looks pretty well spent. Let's go ahead and get him back out. <laughs> There he is. Got him. Good grief. All right. We're going to put this minnow to rest now. <laughs> Golly. These trout are just stacked. Stacked up. Not very big. That's okay. Wow. He's got a gash on the side of him. Look at that. Something's gotten after him. Try to. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna put this minnow to rest. He's still on here. Yeah, never mind. We're throwing him back out. He's dead. But we're gonna see if we can get something on it anyway. Why not? 
Why not? There's the bite. Got him. <laughs> Dude, these, these speckled trout fight so well. So well. And this is five fish on the same mud minnow. I think that's a keeper too. That's a keeper. That's a good fish. Good and thick. It's a good thick one. Probably 16 to 17 inches. That's why I'm throwing those other ones back to get these guys right here. Just a little bit bigger. Probably about inch and a half, two inches. Yeah. I'll take it. Let's go throw them in the bucket. Make sure that's tied on good. All right. We're going to switch to a little voodoo shrimp here. One of my favorites. What I'm hoping for is, or what I'm thinking, is that now that the sun's coming up, popping up high, usually it'll push those trout deeper into the canals. So... We're gonna get this voodoo shrimp punch down there into the depths and see if those trout are lurking. I'm also hoping, oh, like that. Also hoping maybe we'll pop a red, red or two. In the past, I've been able to find a red fish lurking amongst the trout. If the trout are down here, typically there'll be a red fish or two. Not a bad little fish. Again, being selective, that's probably 14, but we're gonna just drop them back in. There it is. I let that get all the way to the bottom. That's two cast two fish. It's kind of nice. Moved out of where everybody was. We were just about elbow to elbow over there. I've noticed it slowed way down over there. Now that's a solid trout right there. We're gonna keep that one, I think. That's a good thick one. Yeah, that's a good thick one. He'll go in the bucket. Whew. When they're right at that size like the barely legal size of 14 inches they're pretty scrawny but when you start getting them pushing like that 16 inch mark you notice like they start to get a thickness about them like this guy we're gonna put him in a bucket yep right at 16 there's a difference there's definitely a difference oh look at that what a way to start this challenge y'all good grief y'all I've smoked like five fish and nobody has caught on. They all have their backs to me and I'm a good, probably hundred yards away. This is beautiful. We're like popping fish without having to fight everybody else off. Now I've, I've got no problem. Don't get me wrong with other people fishing the area. Like obviously it's a public beach, like fish where you want, but it just gets so crowded down here sometimes where like you literally have people like 10 feet away from you. Like I said, I'm all for everybody getting in on the action and stuff. It's just typically when you start catching a fish or start catching fish in a location, everybody just boom, right, right to your area. And it's like, okay, there's a hit, a thump, there he is. Just right in that little basin right over there, that little canal super skinny all the trout have moved over here <laughs> and we're the only ones that know it so far and we're gonna keep it that way as long as we can there we go definitely another keeper we could have limited out by now if we wanted to i'm just being super stingy with what i'm putting in the bucket all right guys and just like that the bite has finished. So we are actually the last people here. Everybody else has left. Nothing has been biting for about the last 30 minutes. We didn't do too shabby though for the start of this challenge. I mean, look at this. We ended up keeping seven trout that we need to get back on the ice. You're allowed 10 per purse per day, but seven, I mean, it's a, it's a phenomenal start to this challenge. Challenge isn't over yet though. What we're gonna do next is I actually have to go move my camp. I wasn't able to get three camping spots uh, three nights in the same camping spot in a row. So we've got to go back and move before lunchtime, get everything packed down, set back up at the next camp spot. The next low tide's not going to be till like 7.30 tonight, which at that point, it's going to be too dark really to fish. So we got to see if we can make something, anything happen this afternoon because we still got two, really two days to go. It's still morning time. We've done well to start, but we still got, still got a long ways to go. Let's go see if our campsite's available here. I think this is this right here. Is that six? Yeah, that's six guys right here. Check it out. Check this out. Wow, this is the shadiest I've ever gotten before. The one 
Little issue I have though is it's not terribly flat. It's kind of all at a bit of an angle here. Um, where are we gonna put all our stuff? We've got the fire pit there. Might have to put the tent like right here. Kind of the flattest ish spot. I don't want to be too close to the fire pit though. Um, ba -ba -da -bum 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 -bum. it's a pickle. Let me think about this for a second. So I didn't even tear my tent down from the last spot. I like, took the support poles down and that was it. It's kind of lazy. I just wanted to try to get it all over here in one piece. Here we go. Before we head back out onto the beach, we're gonna go ahead, get a few trout cleaned up, get a little lunch. It's not lunchtime yet, but we're gonna probably spend all afternoon out there and I don't wanna have to break, just in case there's a good bite. It's also a really nice lady at the front of the park who I told if we'd get any fish, I'd bring her some. So I'm gonna drop some fish off to her. Look at that. That's gonna go a long way to helping us get to the next two days. Yeah. Fire's been going, going good, looks like. Wood's starting to burn down a little bit. Perfect. Let's get our pan heated up. Oh yeah. My filleting was going so well until like I totally just cut the loin out of that fillet right there. Don't even know how I did that, but I'm gonna just do some Cajun two-step for our lunchtime trout. Big chunk of butter, put right in our skillet. Move it around. Grab our trout. Mm -mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at the blackening on that right there. That's what's up. It's almost done. <sighs> My table's kind of on a hill. <laughs> I'm leaning backwards. There's lunch, though. Oh. Goodness. Whew. Amen. Amen. Oh, I tell you what, you couldn't have asked for much of a better start to this two day challenge. Oh, yes, fruits of our labor. Oh, man. Whenever I do these challenges like this, it's just such a mental boost to put any kind of fish in a cooler stringer, bucket, whatever. Ugh. So here's the plan for this afternoon. I saw some older gentlemen setting up on the beach, getting ready to do some beach fishing. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop by, see how everybody's doing, because if the fishing's good, there are gonna be plenty of people out there catching fish. But if we stop one or two places and nobody's reporting any fish, then I think we're just gonna skip the beach fishing, head right back to the inlet, and do some bottom fishing at the inlet. Yesterday when I first got here, the water at the beach was super dirty. Um, it's kind of hard to tell this morning. This light wasn't really shining well on it, but it's hard to see if it had cleaned up much today. But if the fishing report is good, that the beach has some fish on it, it'd be easier to do that because it's a lot closer. It's just right here. But 
I'll make the trek back, back down to the inlet if we have to. Man. I'm gonna drop some fresh fish off to our hostess. Yeah. I'll use the hostess, just the lady at the front gate. Hey. I hear you without power. I have power. Oh, you have power? Yeah, I have power. I don't have power. See, it's, we're on a different line up here. Oh, man. Yeah, we're on a different line up here. Oh, I got four trout fillets. Oh, I shucks. Uh, what, how are you going to cook them up? Well, I probably fry them. Fry them? Oh, that's my favorite way to do it, too. That's, that's a good way to eat fish. Oh, my goodness. And they're fillet. Oh, my God. Now, I left. The ribs are in them. So, if you want to cut them out. I don't like cutting them out because I let people do it themselves that way, just in case there's a little bit left over or whatever. And then some people like to eat around them, so I quit. I just leave the whole thing in there. I around them in my house. I take the bones out. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely, have a good day. Sweet, got that done. Now, I have to go run to the store. My heater that I used to heat the tent at night uh, kicks the can at about three o'clock this morning and I noticed because I woke up and it was really chilly in the tent Fortunately got a really nice sleeping bag, which I have a link to in the description below if you want it But um, we're gonna go see if the ace hardware here has another little space heater Hopefully just for tonight because it's it's like low 50s at night. So pretty cool I mean, it's not you know hiking the Himalayas in the winter cold, but for my baby skin It's chilly literally the last heater electric heater they had in there it's been in there a while it's all dusty on the top <laughs> oh yeah well, that's perfect that's exactly what i needed Oop. losing parts Yeesh. ah well if they get the power back at on at the uh at the park We'll have heat tonight. Hooray! All right, sweet. That will be very cozy. It is time for us though, to load the beach cart up. I should say back up and get back out to the beach. So see if we can catch something this afternoon. I already talked to one guy on the way out of camp and uh, who was beach fishing I saw this morning. He said he didn't catch anything. So that doesn't bode well for the beach fishing. So I'm thinking we may end up just cutting out the beach and heading straight back to the inlet. Let's go. I don't know. Guys, I was just pulling back in to the campground and one of the guys that works with the Dominion Energy recognized me from my channel, so we're gonna go say hi. Hey man, I didn't mean to- What's up, man? I just saw you and I was like, let me holler at this dude. I always what? look for you. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler, nice yeah, to meet you, man. You too, man. Have you guys been working on the power outage yeah, here? back on now. Oh, cool, thanks, yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. You make good content, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Do you have a favorite type of video? I just like it around here because- Yeah. I'm from the area, so it's cool to see somebody fishing like in the area, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. have you been fishing at all recently? To be honest with you, man, I, I work so much. I yeah. haven't fished for it in years. But yeah. I used to fish like three or four times a week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. my boat just sits underneath the shed, it's really sad. Nah, uh, shoot. Yeah, it's that, you know, you gotta, that time of life though, sometimes you just gotta work and get stuff done and then so you'll get good, back man. to it, That's you right. know, kind of a thing. But it's different seasons in life, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, well, I appreciate you guys getting all the power. I, I didn't even know that it was out until I, I, I was, I've been out at the beach. I got back and I thought it was just my campsite. I just moved my campsite. And I was like, ah, oh, no, I thought I was gonna have to move it again. Man, it's Thank nice you, to run man. into you. you Thank too, you. Man. Have a good one. Yeah, man, you too. Thanks again. I appreciate it. I think I have just as much fun running into subscribers as subscribers have fun running into me like i get a tickle out of it it's actually surprising how many people i run into that watch my channel it always kind of shocks me ah! almost got caught <laughs> it ain't a bad life there we go all right, guys, we have moved to the outer part of the inlet out here. Spent about an hour back there. All I had were like some crab bites, maybe some whiting, nothing real definitive, no real good hit. So the tide's getting ready to turn and start heading back out. So I thought I want to position myself kind of at the mouth of this. because so if there's anything out in the surf or out at the, in the, on the beach, it'll, um, they'll stage out that way as stuff comes flowing out of the inlet. So got a couple other gentlemen here fishing, but 
I've got a piece of cut mullet out, which that looked like he's getting bumped there for a second. Yeah, something might be messing with it. If a redfish hits it, like it's just gonna go, zzz, zzz, like, like it'll go down. But I'm getting a lot of that, like there. Yeah, see, something bumped it right there. It's definitely a bite, but I'm just getting no good hit. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm gonna throw this little voodoo shrimp. I didn't fish this this morning, the mouth of this inlet, so we'll see if the fish are staged up out here or not. Oh, there's a hit right there. Fish, fish on. Second cast. Feels like another trout. Oh, dude, yeah, that's a nice trout. That's a nice trout. Ha! Right there. Look at that. Oh, man. It's a pretty fish. Ah, uh, you know, it wasn't quite as big as I thought it was gonna be. That's still pretty. That's definitely a keeper size. I don't know though. We've caught plenty. I'm still technically allowed three more today. Only kept seven. I don't know. We might try to get a little bit bigger. Might try to get a little bit bigger. That's a pretty fish though. Boy, they are still around. Still around. There's another hit right there. Got him. Other fish. Other fish, good grief. They're moving in. That's another nice trout, dude. Oh, is that any bigger? <laughs> yes, sir. Golly. No problem catching the speckled trout today. Whew. Any piggies down there? I want that Bahama Mama. I want that like 20 inch, you know? There he is. That's good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a keeper trout right there. Is that my 17 incher? That might be 17 inches right there. Look at that. Yeah. That's the fish I've been waiting for right there. It doesn't look like much maybe, but there's an extra probably half inch on that fish. And it's just a little girthier, a little meaner. Another surf trout. I'll take it, man. I'll take it on a slow day. Nobody's catching anything off the beach. The inlet, even at high tides, producing some fish. You know, actually, I want to see how long this fish is. 16 and a half. 16 and a half. I was right. A little bit bigger. All right. Ugh. I almost crashed. Ugh. Everything take it tight back there, though. We are heading back to camp. I've spent the last close to an hour on the beach after we scored those trout in the inlet and just haven't gotten anything on the beach. I had one good bite and I think it was a bluefish because it popped it pretty good, but didn't peel drag or anything. The water's still pretty churned up, pretty sandy and silty. And when it's like that, it can just be super difficult fishing. Oh gosh. Man, I'm so hungry. I almost wanted to eat the hot dog that went inside that trap. <laughs> it was smelling and looking pretty good. Hopefully we get some more big ones and this time we'll take better care of them. So when I got back to camp, I noticed all of our wood had burned down from lunch's fire, or from the fire we had at lunch, whatever. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to just put a bunch of this dry stuff and get it to ignite without having to use a match. And so far, I've got a little smoke building. The embers are catching something down there. Come on, baby. Let's give it a little blow. Oh, come on. Be good to me. Oh yeah, you see that right there? Oh, 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 oh. we got fire. We got fire. Oh, oh. Yes! No match required. Dude, this is like RuneScape fire making level. I mean, we're easily in the 60s with that. Dude, I didn't even need the tinder box, man. I have made fire out of nothing. I guess we made fire out of an earlier fire, but you it's it's the same thing. Oh, yes. Build my beauty, build. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, right in the face. Oh, 
I add more wood. Bring wood and oil. Literally, actually, we do need some oil if we're gonna fry this trout up. Got some breading here. And I'll be terribly honest with you, I took it out of the box I bought it in, like, I don't even know how long ago. I don't even know what kind of breading this is. We're just gonna go with it. I mean, it's gotta be good. Looks like it's still, like, in good condition. Come grab our little trout nuggets here. Fillet them up. Took the ribs out and then uh, we uh, cut them into kind of chunks. Just halved each fillet. This is two whole trout. Get these coated up. Oh, look at me, Chef Ramseying it over here. Oh, oh careful. Oh, oh, that was that was a little too close there. All right, we're done with that. Got our pan from lunch mostly cleaned out oh hey settle down well, maybe a little bit more there we go gonna swing that over hey what i say get that heated up that's gonna heat up fast what the was my campsite haunted now what is going on Ugh, that's dirty let's clean that out all right I don't think I need to test that oil. Yeah, we good. <laughs> ah, hi. I feel like we really lucked out today on the trout fishing, y'all. I was talking to a guy this morning down at the inlet, and he said he's been here for a week, and they hadn't caught anything. He said, I was here yesterday, and he said, I threw lures for like an hour and a half. He said, I didn't get a single bite. So, I don't know why but that's just sometimes this beach slash inshore coastal inlet fishing it's like one day it'll just everything will just turn on everything just seems to align and be right but after talking with him and several other folks here at the campground like i feel i feel pretty lucky about what we got today because there are a lot of people that fished the beach today that didn't get anything Oh man, how about that? Big plate full of trout, fresh fried. Oh. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you for our success that we had out on the water. Lord, I just pray you'd keep Stephanie and the kids in safety, Lord, at home. Pray you keep me in safety for the last 24 hours here, Lord God. And I just thank you so much for this wonderful life we live. And may you bless this food to my body now. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Oh gosh. Fire's getting a little big there. I still can't tell what, what breading that is. Doesn't have a flavor to it. Sometimes in these challenges, I get super like no breading, um, you know, no coffee or anything like that. I can have coffee this time. Obviously, we're doing breading. I don't feel like breading adds a, like a, a whole lot. <coughs> the breading's spicy actually. So there's some kick to the breading. It must be a Cajun. Uh, whew. As I was saying, we can use breading, have a, have a cup of coffee in the morning. And it just varies sometimes. Good grief. Another chopper? Sounds like it. But it just varies sometimes on what I want to do with these challenges. But typically I cut out a lot of stuff last couple challenges i've let myself have a few conveniences if you will like breading and coffee i'm not gonna lie that fire is starting to feel nice sun is set we're gonna actually have to go check that minnow trap here soon but it's cooling off fast i think we might have the fire going for a while this evening huddle around that Oh yeah, we got a good good amount. Got some chunky ones for sure, like bigger than we use today. I don't see any like I, I had some like giant like three inch mud minnows in here. I don't see any like that, but we got some big ones for sure. Definitely bigger than what we fish with today, so I'm gonna be happy with that. Oh, 
I want to see if the raccoons are going to come out of the woodwork. Try to get after this bucket or not. Let's see if they're around. surprises me so much about raccoons I didn't even realize this but they can be super quiet when they want to be I was sitting over here watching the bucket and there's a big tree that goes overhead <clears throat> all of a sudden I just heard the faint rustling I look up there's a raccoon literally sitting right over my head in the tree just looking down at me and like I didn't realize like how like how quiet and how how like just softly they can move around when they want Usually I hear them in the middle of the night, you know, rustling around in my camp looking for stuff, you know, and that's, I got to pack everything away. And, you know, they're pretty noisy because they're pretty comfortable, but like every, a couple of times I was looking down at my phone, all of a sudden I look up and there's a raccoon at the bucket, like just seemingly out of nowhere. But we're definitely going to go put this in the truck right now. Well, guys, now sitting around. A very cozy fire but I'm not gonna lie it it's kind of boring like got no snacks to eat usually I like something chocolatey down here at the coast but I can't <laughs> so the other thing that's weird is that it's like 6 45 in the evening and it's pitch black out I really really hate daylight savings time I contemplated going and fishing uh, at the beach, you know, bringing my lights out and throwing some lines out at the beach, but I mean, I haven't heard anybody catching anything all day, including myself at the beach, so I almost feel like we'd be better off I don't know, resting up making sure we're ready for tomorrow I think I'm gonna call it a night though, guys we're gonna get some sleep, I'm gonna catch you first thing bright and early, I don't think even the light's gonna be in the sky when we wake up so, I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning You thought I was still in bed, didn't you? Psych! Oh, sorry. Top of the morning, y'all. Uh, I have, whoop, there we go, grab that. I have already been to the gas station and gotten myself a fresh brew. Mm. It's 5.30 in the morning and we are up and at a sunrise is in about an hour and and about two hours after that is low tide. I want to fish that outgoing tide again. Um, that's, I feel like, going to be our best bet to finish off this challenge is get down to the inlet and hope the bites is as good as yesterday. A little heater worked out like a dream last night. It wasn't too terribly cold, but, well, I shouldn't say it was too terribly cold because we had the heater, but... Uh, tent and everything was lovely. <sighs> I wish I could just sit back and do some more sleeping, but because the beach fishing hasn't been that good, we just can't afford to really. That inlet is our only hope, really. So, well, I guess with that being said, we probably shouldn't tarry here in the tent much longer. Oh.
<laughs> Look at that. Dude just absolutely devoured that shrimp. Oh, it's all the way in there. There we go. It's not a bad fish. I think we'll drop him back in though. I want a little bit bigger than that. There he is. Another one. Doesn't feel very big. Noticing a like more small fish this morning, even with every, what everybody else is picking up. In fact, actually that's probably the smallest trout I've caught this trip. That's probably only about 12 inches. So interesting how things can change so quickly. You know, go from just hammering fish to all of a sudden, now we're catching like some small fish to all of a sudden the bite's dead. So you just can't take anything for granted. You might slam them one day and then have trouble putting fish in the box the next. He's got one over there. See, there's another another person hanging out here. That's two more groups. Usually when the fishing hasn't been good for a while and then all of a sudden like it turns on like it did yesterday or gets out real fast. And next thing you know, you know, you got people flying in from all over. I guarantee you. This is just the beginning. I, I would bet one or two more groups, I would guess, are going to come in before it's all said and done. There he is. That might be a little bit better fish right there. The way he hit anyway. Be another keeper. That might be another keeper. Nah, not really. I mean, he pounded it good. Dropped the hammer on it, but that's just another small trout. Another small trout. Yesterday we couldn't catch a small trout. Yeah, that's undersized. Guarantee it. Fun fight, but undersized. There he is. Got him. Another one. Bringing him along that sandbar. We got a keeper finally. This one looks a little bit better. First few this morning, but kind of small. I felt better anyway. Ooh, yeah, you know what? We might keep that. Let's see what he looks like against the cart. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, 14 and a half. 14 and a half, we'll put him in the bucket. First keeper of the morning. All right, it has been an interesting morning. Definitely plenty of fish still being caught. I wouldn't say as many as yesterday though. And the fish have been a lot smaller today. I only managed two keepers this morning. And we're currently right now at slack tide and there's just no fish being pulled in. So crazy how that bite just changed from one morning to the next. The thing I do see out here though, is that this water is way calmer today. Like the surf is way calmer so I think this afternoon we're definitely gonna try fishing off the beach so unless we start hammering more fish at the inlet here later on. Here you go. Fried fish for breakfast, anyone? At least we have something. Nope, I totally missed the camera. <laughs> I'm really hungry at this point, so at 10 o'clock in the morning, this is just as good as anything. I forgot to bring my shaving stuff. Why am I starting to look like the Lorax? <laughs> Dude, I need to get home, get a razor. All right, we are heading into the afternoon and it has been pretty much dead, y'all. I'll be honest with you. I've got one big rod out with a big piece of cut mullet on it i've got the little shrimp we're gonna just keep throwing that it's almost right at high tide so we're just doing what we can nobody's here everybody's left uh i even spent y'all like an hour and a half out on the beach oh we're getting bit on the big rod hold up hold up oh yeah yeah, yeah. look at that look at that we got fish we got a fish got one got one on the cut mullet Hey, 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 what do we have? Come on, be something other than a trout. Let's go. I was just getting ready to tell you guys, it's been Cheeks McGee this afternoon. 
it's literally been like two hours since we came back caught those other other dude that's a it's a red it's a red come on baby oh please right up here yes yes dude that's a keeper red guarantee it <laughs> we caught something other than a speckled trout yes look at it oh yeah dude i'll bet that's like 18 inches yes <laughs> look at that i get it it's a slot let me let me measure it really quickly oh yeah dudes am i good or what 18 on the button ha! oh i feel so accomplished i mean we have caught the devil out of trout i was just getting ready to say i've spent an hour and a half out on the beach nothing not even a bite so i came back here everybody had just left so i decided you know what we're gonna set up the big rod with a little cut mullet i'm gonna try throwing some shrimp in and how about that not five minutes in and we got ourselves a slot red I'm not done yet though. It's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. I've still got another hour or so to go. Let's get another rod in and see if we can get one more of these. You get two a day. I'd love that. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Guys, I'm starting to feel lethargic here a bit. Catching that redfish was nice, but I haven't eaten anything in a good bit. I'm just kind of, I'm feeling it. My body's not shutting down, but it's like, dude, you need a nap and some food. There's one. There's one. Oh, hey. I don't feel like a bad fish. Gobbled up. Oh, yeah, dude, that's a nice trout. That's a thick trout. Oh, yeah, dude, that's a big a trout. That might be the biggest trout of the trip right there. Look at that Bahama Mama. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the biggest trout of the trip. Oh, yeah. I'll bet that goes 17, y'all. Bet that goes 17. Yes, 17. That's as big a trout as we caught this trip. How about that? On the high tide. <laughs> Ending strong the challenge. Check this out. I caught a weak fish. See how the speckled trout right there? He's got like speckles on him. Look, the that fish has nothing on it. I actually called my good buddy Bobby over at Jig Head Outdoors. I was like, dude, what is that? It's like, it's called a weak fish. And in South Carolina, you're allowed to keep one per person per day over 12 inches. And that's like a 17 inch. So there you go though, guys. Boom. Glad we came back. Gave it one last shot here to end this trip. I feel like now, I don't know why, but I feel like with the redfish and now shoot the weak fish as well. I feel like we vanquished this challenge. Like we did well, right? We caught enough fish to eat. We made it through the 24 hours, but this is just, I feel like this is just like the icing on the cake here. I tell you what, it was spotty at times, but we finished strong. Started strong and finished strong. Well, let's go get some food. Ah. It was always Bojangles. <laughs> Nothing says sumptuous feast like a little southern bow time. There's a crying shame that the West does not have Bojangles. They have no idea what they're missing out on like these sumptuous fries uh, oh i love fish y'all i love it but fish for two days straight it can get a little much and you know we going honey mustard for the win y'all thank you for hanging out with me the last couple of days at our inlet i am famished i am tired I am starving. I think I already said that. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me, though. Sticking it through to the end. We did it. We did it. We're going to have to start upping these challenges to, like, three-day challenges. It's coming. It's coming. We're going to start pushing ourselves more. Oh. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you won't watch another one. I don't know. Do what you want. <laughs>